COVID-19 situation at the moment I would describe as very stable, with the protections in place uh, to ward against and to deal with any outbreaks as they arise, as we've seen in, in recent weeks and months. But that said, as we move into the vaccine period, our first priority is that it be safe. It must be safe for Australians, and that's what they would expect of us. So the vaccination policy has been established it has been agreed by Cabinet and it has also been endorsed by the National Cabinet. Uh, the vaccine strategy is now in, in its advanced stage of preparation and that will further be considered by the Cabinet, the Federal Cabinet, and we are working closely with the states and territories and the rollout plans that, that stem from that strategy. And so I've asked the Health Minister to join me today with Professor Skerritt to take you through those next steps. You'll be aware of the decisions that have been taken in the United Kingdom, no doubt. Uh, the UK will need to deal with their situation and their circumstances in their way. Of course they should. And it's been a consistent theme around the world that each nation has had its own set of unique challenges. In Australia, we're in a very strong position and that enables us to get this right, to get the balance right, to ensure first and foremost the safety, which enables us to then roll out the vaccine successfully across the country. Australia has one of the highest rates of vaccinations anywhere in the world. All of which, though, is ahead of schedule. We are on track for decisions on the early vaccines by the end of January. We are on track for first vaccinations, beginning with our health workers and uh, our aged care residents subject to approvals in March. Uh, last